the Crooked Way. Hi guys, it's Lenora. Welcome back to the channel. I have been dormant for probably way too long on not just my YouTube channel, but also on my podcast, Fit to Chair. But yeah, just, just letting you know, I do have a podcast on Spotify, which is over here. You can't click this, but this is my podcast, Fit to Chair, and you can check it out later on. So the reason I'm making this video, one, this is like a reset to say, hey, I'm alive and I also want to thank you for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. Grace me with your time and um, for you to even want to be on my channel to see what else I have come up for you guys. So I want to say thank you and I also want to say I'm sorry because I haven't been consistent with putting out content over here which I said I was going to do so. And the second thing is this is to do like a very small recap of what has been the entire year that is called 2019. I was actually thinking of doing like the 10 best things for the last decade because hey, this is it. 2020 is finally here. The year that I was told about so many times when I was in school it was like 2020 is the year that's gonna be fantastic. 2020, we're gonna be doing this. And this, is the, this is the time, you know, that um, our government officials are saying like this is gonna be our year and whatnot, la 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 la. I actually wanted to do 10 things that impacted me for the entire decade. And then I found out it's getting a little bit too long and long-winded. So here's a recap of all the things that I consider as achievements. They are great memories, things that really made 2019 beautiful and I want to remember these. something out there on social media is always the good stuff and while yeah it's the good stuff but the reality is life can also be very harsh and 2019 for me anyway has been a very big roller coaster of personal obstacles relationships emotional emotional th stuff financial obstacles it's been from super highs and then super lows and I will admit that it played, um, it, it did have an effect on me and it also affected how I just didn't want to do anything. You know, when you get affected 
when you get affected by things that happen to you and I, I always like to be positive about stuff but sometimes it just affects you and you just can't give a care and that is the truth that happens sometimes in life and then I think the final one that nailed it all was oh when my Dutch just passed I don't even know why I'm crying for this but yes my dog of 14 14 years um, she left us this year and I want to remember her because she was she gave us such joy in our family she gave us such joy and I really really uh, am very grateful that she was part of our life and brought us a different kind of love excuse me I didn't want to get so morbid so I'm okay now <laughs> basically 2019 has been a uh, a roller coaster year for me. I've had some great growth in career and also personal development. Um, I got my certifications as a coach and I did many, many things. But at the same time, there were some really bad lows. Uh, I was, you could say, in the end, my heart was broken. But not from a breakup, like you guys, like some most people think, like, oh, you're heartbroken. No, my heart was broken because. People who I care about so much, they were going through things and I want so much to help. And um, it's not, uh, and just basically people who I really care about were going through things. And that just, um, that just affected me. And it made me like not care. I was battling with anxiety attacks. I was having difficulty breathing. And I even had some uh, thoughts about, thoughts of where they were not so great, but it was not very dangerous so thank god it was not dangerous but it was um, it was heartbreaking enough and I think with the passing of my my cute pup that really just made me really not care about anything but uh, through it all through it all I was able to find peace and it's a peace that transcends all human understanding and I want to say thank you so much to, to God above it. And that brings me to what I want to share with you. And that is a message which I uh, reheard, um, that was reshared on Instagram, because I'm such an Instagram addict. And it was from Pastor Stephen Furtick from Elevation Church. And he was sharing of how, I'm paraphrasing him, whatever obstacle that you've been through that did not destroy you, God is going to use it and you for something much greater. So God is going to flip your circumstances and situations. And I really hold on to that message because that is so powerful. And it was confirmed even more with uh, my pastor from my church, Canaan Church. Pastor Daniel was sharing about how farmers, they have to scoop up a lot of horse shit. <laughs> and it's not a fun job. The thing is with horses, they produce about two kgs worth of poop and he was sharing how that poop is actually a great, rich, nutrient-dense fertilizer which is going to be used for the crops. And when they put it for the crops, they're going to get a great harvest and that harvest is then going to feed the other animals on the farm and then even us humans. So to put into context, things that seem like it's drowning in shit doesn't necessarily mean that it's all bad. In fact, something great is going to come out of that brown hill mountain into something that's greater. So I just want to give you, whoever that's listening, some encouragement too. That if you've been having a poopy trying year like myself, because I did hear a lot of my friends saying that they had a trying year for whatever reason. I just want to give you some encouragement and say that you are not alone. You're definitely not alone. We all go through life. So it doesn't matter if you had a great year or a not so great year. I just want to tell you that things can only get better. Okay. To end this video, here's something which I've never done before and I'm a bit shy in doing so, but I just want to bless you. 
So please allow me to pray for you. Whatever kind of season you've had, I just want to bless you. And you don't have to do anything at all. I usually close my eyes when I pray. So just allow me to, to bless you. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, Lord, that you love us so much and that you are so great, Father, that you are the Almighty. Father, I just want to pray right now for the person who is watching and listening to this. I pray right now, Lord, that you are going to bless them. Father, if this is the year that has been very trying for them, it's been a season of drought, a season of fire, a season of pain, or whatever kind of season, Father, I pray right now that you are going to flip it around for them. I pray, Lord, that you are going to bless them. I pray, Lord, that whatever situation that they have been, Lord, you are going to use it. You're going to use it for um, for the greater purpose that you have given to them, Father. Father, whoever that's listening, I pray right now that they know in their hearts that they are beautifully made, that you've created them for a great thing in their life, that they are filled with purpose. I pray for grace to be upon them. I pray for blessing and love uh, and hope to be in their hearts and their minds. And I pray, Lord, that whatever they have gone through, they can see beyond that, Father, and know there's something much bigger ahead for them, Lord. I pray also for anyone who's had a broken heart. You, Lord, are there for the broken heart and crushing spirit, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you repair <clears throat> the feelings, uh, the heart that they have, uh, the heart that is broken. I pray, Lord, that that they're going to find a renewed strength in love. I pray, Lord, that the right people are going to surround them. Father, I pray, Lord, that you're going to protect them in whatever situation they are in and wherever they go, Father. And I also want to pray, Lord, that for anyone who has been having an ache in their body, in their, in their mind, Father, I pray right now that you're going to take that ache away. You're going to take that pain away, Father, and then you're going to bless them and you're going to heal them, Lord. Father, I want to thank you that your word and your love and your presence, Lord, is just so powerful. I pray, Lord, for anyone else who's been facing anxieties throughout this entire year, I pray right now that your peace be upon them. I pray for the peace that transcends all human understanding to be with them and for them to have a calm heart and a mind and that knows that um, they can have hope, Father. They can have hope for the future. Father, I want to say thank you so much that you will never leave us, you will never forsake us. And Father, through you, all things are possible and doable. And all things can come out for something greater. Father, I want to thank you for this opportunity to whoever that's listening, Lord. It's such a blessing and such a gift to be able to pray for others, Father. And for us to have um, this time with you, Lord. Father, this prayer is not perfect. Just pray, Lord, that whoever that's listening, I pray that they're going to be blessed in their life, that um, 2020 is going to be a year that turns around for them. They're going to have, um, they're going to have a lot of love and a lot of hope in their hearts and a lot of motivation and they're going to feel inspired, Lord, with the things that are in front of them, Father. I pray, Lord, that everyone will look forward for what is going to happen in their future. And whatever that has happened in 2019, Lord, it is the past. And I thank you, Lord, for all the circumstances that has happened, um, not just for myself, but for everyone, Lord, because everything has its purpose, Lord. And I just want to thank you, Lord, that you are so good and that you've given this gift to all of us, which is your love and the gift of prayer. Father, bless whoever that's listening. And I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be back again with more videos and I want to say thank you again so much for Sticking around on my channel and if this is something that you feel you think you want to stick around for Please do subscribe. I know this is where it gets into all that stuff Please subscribe into my channel if you did feel blessed with this video do give it a thumbs up because it gives me encouragement to know that you have been blessed in any way possible much love to you all and as always May the gains be forever in your favor.